What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, we uh, have never been this bored ever. They just announced 30 more days of this shit. Don't think I'm gonna make it. I am currently on the carnivore diet, which means all I eat is meat. And my go-to food lately on this diet is Texas barbecue. There ain't much better than some slow cooked brisket. So today, what I want to do is take that Texas barbecue and shove it right into my kitchen and see if we can't replicate it at home without a smoker, and without a grill. We're gonna be using a Ninja Foodie Deluxe, or if you have an to pot it'll work too how's this gonna turn out i have no idea could it be a disaster it could but at this point i'm desperate for content so if you guys are ready to get this epic video underway then as always man i'm here to do it for you let's do it yeah. Before we get this started, I gotta give you guys a pup date. Since the last video, I have fallen completely in love with this little guy. Seriously, um, he is inseparable from me. He's by my side 24-7. Might be the best thing that ever happened to me. As far as names go, in the last video, I asked you guys to comment names down below. Some of you goofy mother down there, man. There were some that were like, name him Quarantine. Like Quarantine, good name. Name him Waffle. Waffle? Waffle? I ain't asking for you guys' help again. Nah, but for real, thanks to everybody that commented. I still don't know yet. I'm leaning towards either Ozzy or Revan. I don't know. You guys let me know, but uh, needless to say, I love this little guy. Say hi to him, buddy. Say hi to him. Oh, yeah. He can grow to be big and strong with a big old dick. Mwah. So the first thing we're gonna need is obviously brisket. Can't make a brisket without brisket. If you've ever made a brisket without brisket, contact the people over at Guinness because that's gotta be a world record. All right, get a load of how beefy this brisket is. That's a big boy. Butcher Box actually sent me this beef brisket here. So shout out to them, man. Link in description if you're having trouble finding meat, they can hook you up and you get a deal by using that link. Might be free beef, might be free burgers. You might even get a free brisket. Get this thing out of the shell. I'm telling y'all, man, if you've never had Texas beef brisket, you don't know what you're missing. Look at that big beefy. What I want to do here to get a little more room for this big boy, move it over to a bamboo cutting board. Boom, look at this thing, man. Look at all that marble in. Now, first step, we got to rub this brisket down. It's 2020, so make sure you get consent first. If you need the consent rub down template, email me, I'll shoot it over to you. As far as rubs go, you can really use any rub you want. I'm gonna do this Cajun style, all purpose seasoning, a little spicy on my brisket. Bring it. And I thought about going and getting a different type of rub, but I'll be damned if I head out into that madness. Pop that pepperoni top and just put her in the bowl here. Put her all in the bowl. We're gonna use all of them. Ooh, that already smells nice. Now I understand anytime I do anything on the channel, no matter what it is, there's something about YouTube comments that really bring out the experts. So I understand some of you have been smoking brisket since World War II. I get it. But me, I'm kind of just winging it. So, you know. You got any brisket tips? Comment them below. But bud, this is my channel. And if we catch a case rubbing down this brisket, so be it. Test some of our rub. Put it right in. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. We, and we really just want to rub it down, man. Look at that. It's already looking great. Ooh, call this a teriyaki rub down. Mm. Ain't no such thing as too much rub, unless you're at a Chinese massage parlor. Even then, though, depends on what you paid for. And once you got a decent coating on this brisket, go ahead and give her a good old flipping. Whoa. Now that's gross. And we're going to do the same thing again, man. Treat this brisket like you're an aspiring actor trying to get a roll from Harvey Weinstein. Can't miss a single spot. Really just gotta massage the meat. I know when this thing's all said and done, I'm gonna be giving out free mustache rods. You agree this is a nice piece of meat? Comment below. I'm a big fan of this meat. Got her fully coated. What you think, bud? You fan? You can help me eat some brisket, are you? Good boy, thumbs up for the good boy and comment a name down below if you got one because I'm still drawing blanks. Once your brisket is seasoned, you can actually, I think they recommend you put it in the fridge for like two to four hours or overnight because that'll help us soak up some of the flavor, but we're on quarantine time and 10 minutes feels like two hours. So we're just gonna call that good. First thing we wanna do before we start the slow cook process is we wanna sear it on both sides and help lock in some of that flavor, you know, just make it a better all around brisket. So I got my foodie set to the sear function on high and we're just gonna drop this brisket right down in there and let's hope to God she fits. We want it to sear on all sides, so I'm gonna attempt to give this big thing a flip. Oh, 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 sweet mother of Mary. God, Jesus. Good. Oh. And once you got both sides seared, we're gonna go ahead and put two cups of water down in here. Then to add a little bit of smoky flavor, and take some Worcestershire sauce and put it right down in there as well. Oh boy. And at this point, we are ready to pressure cook. So we gotta put our special little lid attachment on here. 
Bingo. Now we wanna switch this to pressure cook setting on high. We want about an hour and 20 minutes. And boom, that's what we want. Go. Wow, we're waiting on that. Like I said, we got about an hour and 20. It's gotta vent the steam off and it's gotta like heat up. So we'll just say about two hours. I'm gonna take my little man here. We're gonna go for a little walk. I gotta go get him a brush because can't have this beautiful fur getting matted. And uh, what else do we gotta do, bud? What's that? Meet up with some beautiful women? All right, I like the way he thinks. Boy, did we just have such a good time. We were gone a little longer than I thought, but we stopped by the post office. Just mailing some new supplement samples out to some of my clients. Shout out to you guys, man. That's one thing about a uh, Final Boss performance, right? When I get new flavors of supplements, if we're trying out new products, like I'll send them to my clients, like little packets of them, they can try them out, give me feedback, you know, that old chestnut. But I got him a little doggy brush. Found a good one here, nice and black, masculine, manly. Manly. And then I also got a little uh, poop picker upper bag where I live. You gotta pick up your poop, which uh, is a good policy, I feel like. But the amount of people that don't, if you live where I live and you're watching this video, understand something. If I see you not pick up your poop, I'm gonna slap you upside the head. I'm gonna walk up behind you and ooh, right on your ears. You won't be able to hear nothing for a week. You're gonna pick up your shit then. Anyways, my crib smells so good right now. Let's check on this brisket, man. Moment of truth, I'm gonna give you guys the first person view. So let's unlock and Ooh, god damn, look at that brisket. Mm, mm, mm. I'm a tongue punch your beef box. All right, see if we can't fish this guy out of here. I'm not gonna lie to you people, this smells super good right now. Holy shit, you should see it's falling apart when I try to grab it, that's how tender it is. Oh my god, holy shit. Holy shit. It's gonna fall apart on me. Hold on, can I two hand it? Oh, oh. All right, we got the action shot set up. Let's slice into her with the biggest knife I own and see just how tender she is. Oh, I'm not even pressing down guys that's just gravity doing the work oh son of a give her another slice Gee, are you seeing this is what i'm doing here legal hold on does it just strip off oh gosh reminds me of my ex-girlfriend it's been a while since i've had meat this tender All right, guys, I would say this is probably the best cut test we've ever done on this channel. Anyways, we've been talking enough shit. Let me go ahead and grab me a piece here. Be 100% honest, man. Three, two, one, let go. Results inconclusive, we gotta do another. We got about 70% of the data we need. I need a little more data. Do you hold the secret? Uh -huh. Mm. All right, first things first, this does not taste like regular beef brisket at all. Smoked beef brisket, not even in the same ballpark. It's not even playing the same sport. Is it good still? Yes, very good, but it's, it's different. It tastes more like a uh, pot roast. Get a piece right off the, ooh, right in the mid. Um, damn though, that, that is really good, seriously. Like I said, it's not like authentic barbecue, obviously, because like, you're not smoking it, but um, it's still really good, man. I think if you tried this, you would love it. I mean, and how easy it is, man. Now imagine, you get some mashed potatoes with this, some noodles, and this brisket get on top, you just shred this up and throw it in there. Mm. Imagine if I actually let it marinate for two to four hours or overnight instead of a quarantine five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm. So my final verdict is that this definitely gets the double seal of approval, man. I would recommend this to anybody. I'm not a hard guy to please, and I wouldn't kick Taco Bell ground beef out of bed, but this, this is actually slapping. This is really good. So if you're cooped up indoors and you're looking for an easy way to make dinner for the whole family, or shit, man, just make one of these and prep it out for a few days, you got yourself enough meat, give her a shot, man, because Lord knows we ain't got shit else to do. Literally, I'm on like day 10 of this quarantine and all I've been doing is walking around my house pissed off blaming everything that goes wrong on Carol Baskin. I've been by myself so long, Joe Exotic's starting to look good. At first I'm like, what are these guys doing? They're not gay. What do they see in Joe? Quarantine day nine, I'm like, well, I mean, he's got money and a uh, bunch of cats. <laughs> So appreciate you guys for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. Even though we are trapped at home, you can still eat healthy, you can still make results. If you're interested in getting a meal plan from me, I am still working every single day as a personal trainer. I can make you at home workouts. We can make some things happen. So check out RemyTJamesFitness.com if you're interested at all in that. My new album, Summer Samurai, is killing it. You guys are actually listening to it, streaming it, giving me a ton of good feedback. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, Amazon, Tidal, any of the streaming platforms has it. So check it out. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plenty more coming. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Question of the day, quarantine question of the day. And God knows, I know you guys have all the time in the world to go down and comment your opinion down below. So you better do it. The question is this, did 
Carol Baskin kill her husband and feed him to the tigers. You know, I, I, I'm not saying shit. I want y'all to let me know, all right? Cause I know you watched Tiger King. Don't pretend like you didn't. We all enjoyed that white trash romp collectively. We all did, man. Don't act like you're better than Tiger King. You ain't better than Tiger King. You ain't better than that. I know it. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for watching and I will see each and every one of you at the next video. Oh, see you guys. Mm. That's some goddamn brisket. Mm.